one year after the battle. <laughs> this city was once a happy, peaceful place, until one day, a powerful criminal organization took over. Mr. X, the syndicate boss believed completely destroyed by three young vigilantes, has come back to life stronger than ever. This new vicious syndicate soon had control of the government and even the police force. The city has become a center of violence and crime where no one is safe. Adam, Axel, Blaze set out to save the city. Joined by Axel's friend Max, a wrestler, Adam's kid brother Skate, and Zan, a former investigator from Robokai. They are willing to risk anything, even their lives. On the streets of rage. Oh yeah. Look at that action shot. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Streets of Rage Remake. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another glorious playthrough with your host, PsychoGo Gaming. On today's gaming video, we will be trying something between an indie game and a remake. Now, this particular game is, in fact, not made by Sega, and it is not Streets of Rage as you know it. Now, as anyone who subscribed to DB Geek's channel will know, he's been playing through the Streets of Rage series very, very slowly, and I was toying with the idea of joining him. I thought about it for a while and decided that those games, whilst they're really good and they mean they live, they're really good and they mean a great deal to me, they are also quite old and they just do not have what I consider very good emulations on the PC. That their sound effects are messed up, or their controller schemes are messed up, or they don't even have controller schemes. And, let's face it, these kind of games, you can play them on a keyboard, but that's not what they were designed for. So, I thought to myself, what can I do? What I would really like to do is play a game that encapsulates all three Streets of Rage games, preferably with my favorite playable character, Adam. And then I remembered, someone had already done it. Yes, this is Streets of Rage Remake, it is made entirely by the fans, and it has all six of the playable characters from all three of the official releases. I'm very excited to play this, I've played it before, um, but I've completely reset everything, this is a fresh install, haven't touched it in god knows how long, and I am going to jump right in now, and let's get playing. So come on then Adam, let's go kick some ass. But let's first learn what buttons to push. Yeah! This is the situation. We have a patrol car, a helicopter, and several rocket launchers. That's always handy. Ammo is limited, so use it wisely. You'll only have support in accessible places. Makes sense? Understood. With Blaze's help, I've drawn a map with our main targets. We know that Mr. X is behind this, but we can't touch him. He has bribed city officials, the police, and cleared his reputation thanks to public acts of generosity, like the new baseball stadium. It's like everything is delivered in Shatner impressions. The stadium, eh? Let's kick his ass once and for all. See? See? Right on, bro! Now we're talking. Yeah. So I wish they had like a sprite of him wearing that jacket, he looks so much better in it. Okay, so, first thing that's different from any other games is this game has multiple choice. There are many, many routes, um, and for those who are curious, I am playing it with the two times scale up graphics on, which is why the graphics may look like they're a bit painted. I'm actually not entirely sure I'm going to keep it on. In fact, oh, don't go anywhere. And that's what it looks like with the scale off. Um, I can't make up my mind whether it looks better with pixelation or without the pixelation, because I always remember it with pixelation. Um, uh, now you know what, I'm going to play it without the two scaling option on, because at the end of the day, it's an old game, it's pixel graphics, it's what we're all expecting, right? So, as I was saying, as you can see, there are four something or others. There are four choices that you can take, and they are basically... This is Streets of Rage 1, which if you had the box art, you'll probably recognize that that is the box art of Streets of Rage 1. That's Streets of Rage 2, same deal, it's the box art of Streets of Rage 2. However, Adam and Zan have been 
placed into the picture, which I think is a neat touch. Um, there is no Streets of Rage 3 option, probably because we pretend like Streets of Rage 3 doesn't exist. Even though it gave us the best combos, uh, no, no, not the best combo system, but it gave us a lot of improvements to the series. It really wasn't on the same par as number two. So these two are kind of like original stages. Um, one takes you to a Streets of Rage 3 level, but it's not the first level, and the other one takes you to a completely original level that you won't have seen before in the series. Now, I'm going to play through the Streets of Rage 2 level purely because I remember that one being the one that you could do freshest in your mind without having any practice. The game is on hard difficulty. Um, it doesn't default to hard. It goes hard, hardest, and then I believe there is mania, but it, and we're not going to try that because, quite frankly, I would get annihilated. I have finished the game on Mania several, several years ago, and it took a lot of bad runs before I was able to do that. Oh yeah! Yep, you can roll just like a Streets of Rage 3, and as you can see, Adam's sprites look absolutely breathtaking, as does this recreation of this level. He has... His combos complete from Streets of Rage 1, but he also has a running attack, just like every other character does in the later Streets of Rage games. Everything that you remember about Adam from the first game is here, and a run, which is obviously brand new. He also has his own specials. Get off. There's a running special, which is actually pretty unique, because not all of the characters have that, and I hate that phrase, pretty unique. And if they stand still, that's his walking forward special. So, he's actually quite lethal. No, you don't. Uh, I'm using an Xbox One controller to play this. Um, I really wouldn't... You can use the keyboard, but in all honesty, once you get to the high difficulty levels, unless you want to destroy your keyboard, I wouldn't recommend it. Another one bites the dust! Oh, you gotta love that music, and there's the classic ghost symbol. Let's freaking go. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <sighs> One of the other unique things that the, the remake has that the others don't is that these are not the only six playable characters that you can have. It, you can also unlock other characters as the game goes on. Oh yeah, here's another thing. Weapon specific attacks from Streets of Rage 3 are now present in all the other characters. It's off. So Adam now does unique things with knives, baseball bats, crowbars, that kind of thing. Oh, and here comes one of the first changes from memory. No, no! He snuck up behind me. Like I said, this is a remake, so not every level is... Get off. Not every level is exactly the same. For example... There's a sniper in that building! And this is completely different. Nope. You. It's off. No. Nope. Alright. Oh, you sneaky Russian. Come here. Give me that pipe. Boom. Swing, bada bada. Really? You saw that, right? I was punching. No, you don't. Be gone. Ah, doesn't matter how long it's been since I've played Streets of Rage, as soon as I start hearing this music, you just kind of get into it. Come at me, bro! Not quite what I had in mind, but alright, that will that'll work. I love Adam's running special. I'm not quite sure why a boxer would do that. He's more like a kickboxer in this version of the game, apart from his basic attacks. But that works for me. Oh yeah. You. 
fast do it. Yep, that explodes. Oh, it did. Oh, it took out a bit of the floor with it. Oh, and this is straight out of Streets of Rage 2. If my memory serves, Jack's gonna come out of there. Yep. Off you go. Break the turkey. Oh! Laugh at this. Oh, he dodged it. That wasn't very nice. No, you... Lost it! <sighs> and that's something that happened from Streets of Rage 3. There's no way to get that back. That's lost now. I gotta remember that going forward. Foot meet face. Be gone. <sighs> Alright, let's go and have ourselves a drink at the bar. Oh, come on, really? You're in here as well. It's my favourite drinking spot. Get off. You're not stealing this food. No. Oh. No, you don't. Yeah, I'm having that food. Oh! Input fail. Come on! Nope. Not today. Get out of my way. Oh, so close! So close! Oh, I've got a star! I didn't notice that. So, I can't really stand here and talk for too long because of the timer, but a star basically means that my attack now does more damage and goes slightly further. Um, my running attack. Which is always handy. You get them from getting so many points without dying. So sometimes they are a nightmare to get and to hold on to. Land on my feet because I've been playing this game a long time. Streets of Rage, not the remake. For those of you who don't know, uh, looking at you, DB Geek, up and jump. And here we have our next change. I can now go straight forward and continue on the path of the Streets of Rage 2 uh, levels, or I can go up and commit suicide trying to do a different type of levels. Now, every bone in my body wants me to go straight on, but in the interest of making this video amusing, I'm going to go up to demonstrate how different this game is from Streets of Rage 2. If I go forward, I would continue on to Elektra, and then I would fight Barbon outside like you would if you were playing Streets of Rage 2, and then it would move on to the construction yard. But we're not gonna do that! We're gonna go up! <laughs> he looks friendly! Oh good god, fire! <laughs> oh god. Oh, and these Galsiers. Uh, oh, this Carlos, in fact, excuse me, uh, is not from Streets of Rage 2, he is now from Streets of Rage 3. You will face enemies from all three games and some original ones. Look at that shadow. The lighting in this game is impeccable. No, my food. My food, damn it. I said my food. Get. Ah. No, you don't. Oh, yes, you do. Just don't. Yeah, I knew you were going to do that. No, 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 no. Slidey. No! Ha 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 ha! Nah! Ah. Right. Let's see if we can get out of here. Ho ho! Where'd you come from, man with a golden gun? Be gone! Oh, another one. Oh dear, now there's two of them. Ugh. My body is ready! Yeah, still got it. Elevator going up. Ah, see, here's the rain that we would have had if we'd gone outside. Oh, a bar. That's always handy. Oh, I hear that scream. Ooh, no, 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 no! Yes! Ow! Did she just jump off the edge? No. Wishful thinking on my part. 
object. Oh. Ow. I hate these oh, characters. The jump is just ridiculous. Right! Uh, you're not supposed to be to the next level. How dare you break the law! Well, at least they didn't come with motorbikes. That would have been more frustrating. Be gone! Oh, oh. I have a horrible feeling that those turkeys are there because there's a boss fight coming. Or even those barrels, excuse me. Oh! oh. Alright, they explode. And now we have these people to deal with as well. And it's getting really difficult to commentate and not get overwhelmed. Be gone. It sounds like a pop song I remember hearing a long time ago. Oh, stop! Back jumping. Ugh. Whee, I thought you were dead. Oh good, slidey ones. No, I thought I could hit him. The collision was, wasn't quite long enough. Ah. Still, it's a wonderful view up here. It's a shame it's such a rotten night with all the rain. Uh-oh. And who could the boss be? Oh, crap. Jet! It's Jet. We're all gonna die. Or, I'm gonna die. No, you don't! Yes, you do! No, you don't! Ha ha ha! Oh, yeah, and if you hadn't noticed, um, the bar system is from Future Rage 3 that lets you use your special! So it doesn't actually cost me life, which is really handy against Jet. Be gone! I said good day! Good day! Oh, shit. Ah! Come on! Boom! Come on, you want to go again? Nah, I know too much about how you fight. I spent years fighting you when I was much younger. Oh yeah! And that's stage one clear. And now I've got two stars and a bonus for not using my other special attack. Well, we can't go back down that way. He's good, I'll give him that. Let's get to the next roof and work our way down. So, remember what I said about going up would be committing suicide? Yeah, I didn't mean the boss, I meant this level. This is one of those original levels. I'm sure somewhere somebody thought this was a good idea for a level design. I oh! And now my special attack has changed because I have two... Oh, get off. Two stars. No, you don't. Yes! Gotcha! Oh. The increased distance that that attack goes... Ow! When you're not... distracted... is really advantageous! It allows you to, uh, handle the crowds much more effectively. But the build-up time is a little bit of a problem! Oh god, Streets of Rage 1 opponents! I hate these guys! FYI, if you hadn't noticed, I hate pretty much all of the bad guys in Truce of Rage. That's what makes it such a good game. It drives me up the wall! Gah! I swear this is a song. Oh god. No, you don't. No, yes, you... Ah, oh, yes, they did. Oh, I've got three stars. Boom! Easily one of the best attacks in this remake. A one-two combination that definitely leaves him dead. At least that would be food. Yes. Ah, oh, here comes that suicide part. Pray for me. Oh. Yes. You would not believe how many times I have ended up just going off the roof. No, you don't. I'm not coming to you. You're coming to me, friend. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't mind taking a par. Bare knuckle beer. Hmm. For those of you who don't know, Streets of Rage is actually called bare knuckle in Japan. References. They do us all well. I don't like that sound. No. Oh. oh, the bar broke. Oh. I think not. Ow. Why did you pick up the bottle? I didn't want you to do that. I want you to punch him. Oh, well, at least you threw the bottle.
get out of here. Oh, she me some candy. That was nice of Oh! Some f oh, God. It's Cody from Final Fight. Boom! Oh, my God, it actually is Cody. His name is Cody. Get off. No! You don't! Wait, did Cody die? No, get off. Ugh. Oh, I don't know which one of these two guys I hate more. No, it's definitely the country guys. The girls are annoying, but you can usually dodge their attacks. Oh, is this the other part of this impossible level? Yes! Because there's nothing that says good gaming like fighting on top of a train. That's moving. We're bad guys that can somehow defy gravity and get on top of this train. Still on the right side, Streets of Rage 2 enemies again. Big on! No, oh, oh, no, that's me pushing the wrong button. I haven't quite got the controls configured how I want them. I should have double checked that before starting this. Get off! Boom! Oh, I'll take them. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't want to get any closer. Oh, alright. No. <laughs> no! Not today. No, no, thank you. <laughs> yes, you stay over there with the grenade. Oh, you did. Over you go. Ah, oh, seriously. Oh, no, 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 you come to me. You come to me. You're not going to come to me, are you? Yes, you did. And you knocked me over in the process. Get off. Get off my train. No. Ugh. I hate this level so much. Ugh. Full concentration. Ah, maximum effort. Right, where were we? Oh yeah, that's why you like that attack. See how much life that took? That makes Axel's Grand Upper from Streets of Rage 2 look weak. Oh, and it doesn't have the same ridiculous damage output in this game it does in number 2 either. Hence why I'm playing as Adam, not Axel. Who, to be fair, has always been my favourite character. I really liked Zan in number 3, but... Oh, what the, I didn't go, go that far forward. Oh, oh, I'll take it. Oh god. One of them on this level. Whoever designed this game is a sadist! Ugh. Oh no! No! Not one! Two. Wonderful. I swear to god! One of them takes me off, I'm gonna scream. Get off! Ah. Well, luckily, they don't seem too keen on following me any more than I want to jump over the moving train. I can't say I blame them! Oh no, don't tell me it's more bollards. It is. No! God damn it. Oh shit! That's not. Well, I hope there's some food up ahead. Sometime soon! No. No, not food. Ninjas. Because we all know ninjas are nutritious. I don't see me keeping the star to the next level. Let's keep fighting. Get off! Damn it! Get off. Oh, tell me that's the way into the train! God, no! No! That's... No, you don't! Right, get me out of this damn train! No, 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 no! That's not fair! Yes, a life by complete accident! Not quite what I wanted, but I'll take it! Ah, food! No, you don't! Oh, yes, you do! Wrong jump! 
<sighs> Come on. I can take you. Be gone. Boom! Haggard? I think Sagat might have a word with you. Oh, madame, I've got trade copyright. Get off. Double KO. Oh, a little Galsia. Come on! Well, I must say, the train level's going better than expected so far, but it's not over yet, as they say. No. Yes. No. Well, hmm. Rather, they punch me than get hit by that bar. Bye bye. And. Come on. Let's go for the stylish finish. Swing! And you're out! Uh oh. I already thought you. Yeah. Whew, uh. No, you don't. Luckily, I inherited my rolling ability from the Streets of Rage 3. You may have punched me in the face, but I will punch back! No, you don't. No, you don't. Get off. <sighs> oh, excuse me. See, they don't make games like this anymore. It's definitely got a challenge factor. Food! No, you don't. Neither do you. Come on. I'm not coming to you. I'm not activating your reinforcements. They can just stand there and watch. Yeah, you like that? Oh, apparently they did. Ow. Ugh. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, hello. Looks like we've pulled into station. <laughs> I say, were you playing Pokemon Go by any chance? Get off. No. Oh. oh yeah? Two can play that game. No, you... Yes, you do. Cannot get up fast enough and turn around and punch them before they punch you. They are so quick. Oh. Well. Alright then. Oh, God. Streets of Rage 1, girls see us. Hey, guys. Remember me? Whoa. Oh. Yeah, I got some new tricks. Oh, those three look like fun. Oh, really? Money? Now? Come on. Food! Oh, we're having a Streets of Rage 1 and 3 marathon. Excellent. No, you don't. Yes! 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 <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, seriously? I don't know which attack is worse, their slap or the ridiculously high distance kick. Ah, oh, that wasn't fair. I call a foul. Get off. <sighs> I'll go when I'm good and ready. No! From memory, these are the ones that I can't throw because the ones in Street of Rage 3. No, you don't. You couldn't throw. But I can still grab them. Crap! Yes! Don't know how I did that, but I'm not going to complain. Whew. Let's go. I'm seriously worried about who the boss is. Hate you. Hate. Oh god. No. Not him. Yes, him. 
Oh, at least there's only one of them, thank god. So, for those of you who don't remember Streets of Rage 1, this was the second boss. You can't jump attack him. If you do, he will do his impersonation of Wolverine mixed with Freddy Krueger and pretty much eviscerate you! No, that wasn't it. It's even worse than that. Get off. Get off my bridge. No! I wanted to... Oh! Oh! Well, I'm not going to try that again, just in case. Such an automatic habit to try jump attack against a boss. Come on! Oh, damn. He didn't fall for the old trick. It's alright. I've got new ones! Yeah. One more should do it. Boom! Uppercut for the win. Oh, that felt good. The amount of times that dude just used to wipe you out in Streets of Rage 1. Ah. <sighs>